This is Wicked Roadie, a wicked good podcast about Rhode Island events and life. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining us today. I mean, we're just about halfway through the summer, which is scary. Um, it just seems like it's completely flown by. Truly. There's only 23 games left at the Paw Sox, <laughs> and nobody's counting. They're on their all-star break this week, so mm-hmm. that's that's usually the two-thirds the way through uh, mark for us. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, if you're going to get out and enjoy things this weekend or the different events that are going on, uh, don't wait. You know, this whole mindset of being complacent and saying, oh, you know, I'll, I'll go get to that. You know, I'll get to the beach next week or I'm not really feeling it. Let us be your motivational guy yes. to get up off the couch and just go down and do something because it, it, before you know it, it's August and then Labor Day and then Christmas. Just like that. <laughs> it's so and, crazy. And it's I true. just stressed everybody out with that. Uh, how was your your whole Fourth of July week week after kind of deal? You 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 it was good? Great. You yeah. know, we we took the kids. Sunday was such a fun day. This whole weekend's kind of been great. We uh, but Sunday we we made the most of it and we headed down to Newport. Okay, and um, we ate at this new place uh, that I'm going to tell you a little bit about in a bit. Joe's American Bistro. Okay, it was delicious and amazing. And then we went to the Newport Kite Festival. Oh yeah, how was that? It was so. Great. And yeah. for those of you who missed it, you need to go next year. Of course, it's free. It was at Brenton pa- uh, Brenton Park, Brenton Point Park. Yep. There we go. I'll say all of it. Brenton Point Park. I took the kids in a wagon. Easy to Very move smart. around. Very Super smart. Super smart. So either yep. a wagon or like one of those jogging strollers that can go over the park terrain. Yep. And let me tell you, the people who had these professional giant kites just kind of set up shop. They were there all day. They're crazy. They were amazing. There was one that was like this huge purple octopus with the different tentacles flapping around. Oh, yeah. My kids could stare at it for hours. It's great. It's a great thing. You see them with the harness and everything. Yeah. It's funny that you mentioned the the wagon or the strollers with the, the giant wheels. The other day, uh, my wife and I, we had run down to Newport to uh, check out a few things. We're the type of people that when she goes to travel, she's going to visit some uh, family and friends mm-hmm. this week. She's bringing things from Rhode Island. So we're the, the people that are not tourists who go down into Newport midweek in the middle of July. But I see so <laughs> many people, especially like on those cobblestone areas, they're trying to push the strollers with yes. the tiny little four-inch wheels. Yes. And they're just having a battle. Uh, the kid inside is not happy. Yep. They're crying you know, because it's like, terrible there's no you need the bigger tires anytime mm-hmm. you go to any of these events you know whether it be the the food truck events or the you know whether it be the the different kite festivals or anywhere at these big parks you have to have like the all-terrain tires bigger tires on the stroller or the wagon the wagon's the best way to go oh I yeah think. so know? so easy and you could throw extra stuff in it so yep. i had a blast how about you what'd you do this week uh, we had games. We had games all up until Sunday. Uh, then on Sunday night, just kind of ran around and kept on uh, keeping busy. We've got a big clam bake coming up for the fire department this weekend. Uh, so I'm going to have to miss some of the events that we're talking about because mm. we are going to be serving 450 people at the uh, town pavilion, uh, well, the Hugo Pavilion, rather, in Warren. Uh, it's a fire department thing. It's it's a ticketed event. Uh, we do it every year. It's a big fundraiser for our volunteer fire department. And this weekend is just loaded with, you know, securing all the supplies, getting all the rockweed, putting the clam bake on. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I have to uh, play a gig on Saturday afternoon up at Indian Ranch, which is, I think, just over the line in Webster, Mass. Okay. uh, With the 36 Red Band opening up for Eddie Money. Wow. Yeah. So that's... uh, so it's been a crazy, crazy couple days yeah. just getting everything together uh, for that and practicing and putting all videos together. Got a cool video that's come out about the big blue bug. You might want to check that now out. That over it's in the, back to its old self. It is. But I wanted to see if people, uh, you know, how did they feel about the big bug hmm. uh, if we changed it? You know, if we didn't go with blue, if we went with a different color or a different <laughs> color scheme. Uh, so you can check that out as well. So like if you turned in while you're on the road working, and getting some errands done, just sit back, listen, and enjoy. If you hear something that piques your interest, we'll have all the links and info for you in our show notes and on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. All right. 
Wicked interesting. Yeah, what do you got? I need to let you guys know about this. I mm. told you last week about this venue called Wage House. Now, Wage House is an improv comedy theater. It's located in Pawtucket. It offers fun-filled shows every single Friday night at 8 p.m. It's so great. Really wicked cheap. This Friday, though, you want to go. Only $5, and you're going to be seeing a group called Up in the Attic and Up in the Attic and toast. Hmm. It's um, going to be one night only. This is a group from New York City. They're going to be hitting the stage. It's fast-paced, fun-loving style. It's going to they've been delighting audiences all over the place. And no joke, when I went uh, a couple weeks ago, the the owners they were like you need to come back and see up in the attic and toast. It is so incredibly fun. Um, so let's see. They're going to be having uh, the Pawtucket mayor Donald Grebian? Is Grebian. Said, Grebian? Mayor Grebian, yeah. He's going to be going there as well. So Whoa. he's going to be there to support this live if he local knows, comedy. I wonder if he knows what he's got himself into. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, those kind of comedy shows, especially the improv ones, yeah. they usually you know, just happen to pick somebody out of the crowd. And, oh, the mayor is here. Let's get him on stage. And, okay, before you know it, he's got his pants around his head. Hey, you, know, you know, just crazy things happening. Crazy you know, things He's wearing a tutu. <laughs> You know, who knows? It, uh, well, mayor, watch out. Yeah, watch out. Well, the doors open at 7. I highly suggest getting there. At least by 7.30, they have amazing local drinks and, and beers and snacks and all this good, great kind of stuff. So head on over once again. It is Wage House for their improv event up in the Attic and Toast this Friday at 8 p.m. So that's what's wicked interesting. And now, here's what's wicked fun in the 401. <laughs> It's the biggest celebration that happens every year in East Providence. I am talking about the one and only East Providence Heritage Days happening this weekend over there in in East Providence. I mean, it is huge. Uh, Have you ever been there? I went, gosh, I want to say like 12 years ago. Okay. Well, this is, I think this is the 37th annual one, if I, if, if, if my, my math is correct. This mm-hmm. is the 37th annual, and they have a load of different events happening. You can go uh, for free over at Pierce Field, which is uh, right over on Mercer Street there in East Providence. Mm-hmm. They have so many musical acts happening. They also have uh, different, uh, different rides and different, you know, attractions for the family and kids. There's crafts, there's uh, the, the, the street eats, of course. There'll be uh, uh, the the Fallen Dafa. What does that mean? I don't know, but it seems like everybody's excited about it. So uh, look into that, people. Okay, yeah. Look into that. They'll have exhibits. They'll have all sorts of stuff happening all week. And listen, they have the David Tessier All Stars. It's classic rock and original music there. They'll have the Pete Silva Project, which is huge. He does Springsteen's. Very he cool. does Beatles. Uh, the Island Breeze will be happening Ooh. on Sunday. The Island Breeze. It's a reggae band, and uh, it's they have a Celtic band also on Sunday as well. The Kelly Girls, and there's uh, there's music all day Saturday, music all day uh, in the evening on Friday night. Um, you, you're just gonna you, you got to check this whole thing out. I mean, come on down, great event for the whole family, and or just a date if you just want to go out with a couple friends or, mm-hmm. or, or or that special someone. It's a huge event to check out. It's happening all this weekend. East Providence Heritage. Today's festival. What do you got? Very cool. All right. So, you know, we we focus a lot on weekend events, but sometimes we give you events for next week. And I want you to mark your calendars for the 17th of July, Monday, Game of Thrones trivia night at the Malted Barley in Providence. Okay. So there's this brewery called the Omegang brewery and okay. i think it's like in located maybe in vermont um but they come out with game of thrones beers and oh it's new york it's based in cooperstown new york mm-hmm. um they have game of thrones based beers now game of thrones of course huge 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 tv series mm-hmm. it is coming back yep. this weekend i'm a huge fan about everybody it. online is excited right it's all people are talking about sharing the the photos and the trailers online. So if you are a huge Game of Thrones fan, you're going to want to go to this trivia night. It takes place from 6 to 9 p.m. And uh, you get to try these beers that are Game of Thrones related and test your Game of Thrones knowledge. So once again, that is Monday, the 17th from 6 to 9 p.m., the Malted Barley in Providence, which also offers the most delicious assortment of pretzels. Well, there you go. Well, another <laughs> delicious treat, the Rhode Island Food Fights, which are just, they've blown up. Mm-hmm. I mean, they just do so many great things. 
This one is the Ice Cream Throwdown, happening Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Rhode Island Eye Institute over there on East Manning Street in Providence. This is the biggest ice cream celebration. They've got ice cream coming from Lincoln Creamery, Like No Utter, Warwick Ice Cream Co., the Julian's Ice Cream Place, Frosty Freeze, Sundays, Mike's Ice Cream, Whoa. Pompello Gelato. They got the Rogue Island Local Kitchen and Bar bringing their selection, mm -hmm. Clementine's Homemade Ice Cream, and Newport Creamery. And there could be more that confirm between now and the actual date happening, but this is huge. This is absolutely big. And you can wash it down with you know yacht club soda or Delicious. new harvest uh roasters iced coffee that that so this this is an event that's going to sell out i've so, been to this event okay you know oh my goodness you need to if you're listening now <laughs> on thursday morning you need to stop what you're doing yes. get over to your computer and buy your tickets yes. now because this will sell out i'm like toast intolerant and I still went to this event. There I took my lactate pills, and absolutely. I was like, "I feel like yes, you could have a please. lactate like stand out out front, just like like that would be brilliant. Like like hawkers or not hawkers, but a scalpers. You know, at a yeah. concert, you know, like or anybody like the street team anybody that needs hands a, out gum and yeah. stuff. At no, concerts. I want to make money on yeah. this though. I want this to be a, a for profit entity. You know, you just walk around in a trench coat. Anybody need lactate? Yeah. Lactate? Anybody? You know, it's like like when you go to a uh, you know a Patriots game. You know, yes. tickets, tickets, buying, yes. selling, tickets, tickets. So I know lactate, what you're going to be doing on Sunday. Uh, yeah, I will. Well, I, I, I got to get over there as soon as the clam bake <laughs> is over. They, they they conveniently schedule this right at this time. Hey, they know. Um, but yeah, so that is happening uh, on Sunday over at the Rhode Island Eye Institute. So, All right. So that's going on there. Yeah. Now, let's let's be real. There's an event that you had, you had written in our Google Drive mm -hmm. about Harley Davidson event. Yes. Me Memo Saturday. to Blake. Memo to Blake. So Blake is not a Harley Davidson person. That's okay. He still has, he a, he has a two-wheel thing that goes fast and yeah. it's big. We're, we're bikers. It's, you are. Yeah. It, well, it's the Russ's Ocean State Harley Davidson. It's in uh, Summer Cruising Car and Bike Show on July 15th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at their new Warwick location on Albany Road in Warwick, Rhode Island. Now, this is with uh, Cruising Bruce Palmer, who is uh, from 101.5 FM, The Pike, right up in Worcester. You can still listen to it down here or online. But Cruising Bruce has been the staple guy for all car shows and cruises i've worked with him a ton he's got a garage that's like rivals jay leno's as far as uh car count and quantity the different caliber in car i feel mm -hmm. like jay leno has a, a a different echelon uh but nonetheless uh they'll be there they'll have food available for purchase and uh, all the proceeds go to benefit the rhode island special olympics so this is happening nice. all day 9 a.m to 3 p.m now you know very well that this may not be a family-friendly event by way of if you have young kids. Yes. Because young kids like to touch things. And people who have these <laughs> fancy cars don't like it when little kids touch things. Yes. So maybe this is something that you go to with older children mm -hmm. or your husband or just a group of friends. You're looking for something to do. You know, the other day, I meant to bring this up. The other day, I went to the, the Providence Food Truck Festival event, um, uh, PBD food events at the Rocky Point Park. Yes. And I was doing a Facebook uh, live from there on the Wicked Roadie page. Mm -hmm. I had two people come up to me afterwards and said, what are you doing? I explained to them what Wicked Roadie is. And they're like, this is perfect. We have we we look for things to do. They're they're not original Rhode Islanders. They're transplants. One from New York, one from Arizona, or something. Oh, wow! And they're here, you know, for a couple of years. I don't know. I I, I really didn't want to be creepy, uh, and I was also <laughs> keeping an eye waiting for my food because I was hungry. Amen. And uh, they were just blown away. They're like, "Wow, this is this is really cool." Because mm -hmm. they're always looking for things to do. Yes. So tune into Wicked Roadie. There Amen. you go. Exactly. There you go. So uh, usually we talk about that stuff at the end of the show. Don't worry, we still got more information for yes. you. But uh, my ADHD is kicking in big time. So that's happening this this <laughs> <laughs> this this Saturday, nine a.m. to three p.m. It's the Summer Cruising Car and Bike Show over at Ocean State Holly Davidson. You've got an amazing uh, new find. Yes, I do. Under Wicked Tasty. I do. Okay. What is it? Joe's American Bistro in Newport. Okay. Guys, 
you got to go. So first off, everyone needs to head on over to Newport at some point in the summer because it's gorgeous and amazing and there's so many fun events. But if you're looking for a relaxed, comfortable atmosphere that is like casual yet classy, I want you to go to Joe's American Bistro. They have things there for all types of people. Even if you have celiacs or you need to eat gluten-free, they've got it. But one of the things that I really liked is that they have natural meats with no hormones and antibiotics. I've been watching way too many Netflix mm. um, documentaries that okay. have freaked me out about food. <laughs> I'm just being real with you. Yeah, no. It's, so it's okay. You're I, a mom. You got to do that. Right? And so when I go out to eat with my, my family, I want to make sure that I can still feed them kind of these more, you know, with no hormones or antibiotic kind of sure. foods. And you you never really know what you're going to get into unless there's out. a restaurant that, that kind of says this. So I'm a huge fan for that. Um, they also have a special fryer for French fries so they avoid contamination because I have an allergy to scallops. So for people who like have different types of allergies, I don't, I mean, which a lot of people do, and especially people who have kids who have that, you're always looking for a restaurant that is safe for them. Joe's American Bistro in Newport is fantastic for that. So Blake got the bacon onion jam burger, which won the inaugural burger bender contest put on by Discover Newport. Okay, this was like a huge thing. You know, Discover Newport. Yeah, they yeah, like yeah. they put on all those different events. And yeah. so the bacon onion jam burger, their fish and chips is a huge, huge favorite. I got their lobster roll. It was amazing. So it is open for lunch Saturdays and Sundays from twelve to three thirty. We went for lunch before we went to the kite festival. And it was gorgeous. They've got these big open windows, the alfresco dining. It's right on Memorial Boulevard. So okay. right before you're getting to Bellevue, like right. near the Tennis Hall of Fame, mm-hmm. right where all of that stuff is. So it's, I really it's recommend Newport. it. It's Newport. It's, Park somewhere yeah. and get an Uber to get in or a Lyft to get in the easiest way. Park where? Anywhere. Outside in Middletown. <laughs> find really? find where the parking rides. Oh, yeah. There was, there was a parking lot right behind it. You know where the Newport Creamery is? Yeah. That kind of whole area. There's okay. parking lots. There was like parking straight okay. around there that we All found right. on street parking yeah. on a Sunday. Wow. It that's, was great. That's unheard of. But I just need to let you guys know that it mm. was wicked tasty. And especially for those of you who need to worry about different allergies, Joe's American Bistro. Got to check it out. Go check it out. Hey, as we said in the beginning, all the information that we talked about today, all the events, all the different great things that we've talked about, even including Joe's American Bistro, can be found on our <laughs> website, wickedroadypodcast.com. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram. As Ben said, he was doing a great Facebook Live. So when we're at events, we're posting about it, but we want you to be posting about these events too. So the way for us to find out is by tagging us. If it's something that you heard about by listening to Wicked Roadie, when you write in Facebook, oh my goodness, I am at the... The, uh, Harley Davidson event because I heard about it on Wicked Roadie. Tag us. Yeah, Tag definitely. Us. It, and it helps to help spread the word and everything. And then, which is great because if you are a business and you're looking for a wonderful advertising or sponsorship opportunity, we have all that information. Just email us, wickedroadypodcast at gmail.com. Until next time, folks, I'm Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. And you've been listening to Wicked Roadie. We'll have more for you next Thursday. <laughs>